through the, the pressure of hydraulics, you can actually push water out under pressure and split apart the formation. And to do that, you use what is now called fracking fluid. But here, it's, it's nothing uh, fancy, nothing uh, uh, scary. It is water, generally brought out of the Ohio River or other, some other uh, local water source. But because it's coming straight from the river, it has bacteria and algae and stuff like that in it. So they put a biocide in it because you don't want this water to go into the formation. Down there at depth, it's over 100 degrees, so that would start growing and plugging up your formation. So you put a biocide in it, which is what we put in our soap, you know, hand cleaner, antibacterial. Uh, you also uh, put sand in it. The sand acts as a scouring agent, so as it goes out into the formation, it creates little channels, and it actually stays in the formation as a propent so that the earth doesn't come back down exactly where it was before. And in order to get that all going down hole where you need it, you put soap in it to slick it up so that it goes out. And so when they say uh, that this is uh, uh, undisclosed chemicals, it's just the different soaps that people are using. So it's the Coke and Pepsi argument. They don't want to give each other the, their secret formula, but it's basically the same thing. You know, it's Tide versus, uh, you know, whatever other deto detergent you want to use. But that's all it is. So that goes out in the formation. It splits apart the formation, and they let it sit there for a while, and then they release it back out. So some of that water, not all that water, but just some of that water, which is 99.9% .9 water and 0.5% additives, which I just mentioned, it comes back out, maybe 25, 30% of that comes out. But what it also brings out is ancient seawater. So 350 million years ago, this was all a shallow sea in this area. Over geologic time, it got buried deeper and deeper and deeper. And over the geologic time, that's where we get these different formations. But that bottom formation, uh, as it compressed and was heated, that plant life, algae, anything that was organic in there, it got compressed and heated and turned into hydrocarbons, the oil and gas. So when you extract this fluid back out, it brings the oil, the gas, and the ancient seawater that was trapped underneath there. So you take off the oil, you take off the gas, and then you're left with this ancient seawater.